Hey everybody, welcome back. So I am here with a super exciting haul. Please excuse me, I have to drink my coffee. My sinuses are just crazy this morning. Okay, so this is from Super Tars and I'm so excited about this haul. You guys have no idea. So she sent this goodie bag. And a goodie bag indeed. So here's her business card, which I love. She is open right now. Um, through the first. I'm actually placing an order with her tonight. I'm super excited about that. And some of these will be um, repeat scents. The Fright Night scent list. Sent some candy. And this adorable little bat eraser. Okay, so I have to talk about this because this is such a funny story. I was watching Brandy's. She's a YouTuber as well. So I was watching her video on One Little Indian Scents. And she kept on saying how you know, some of the, and not, this is not in a bad way. She was saying some of the scent combinations she just never would have thought of, or they sounded kind of weird. And I couldn't help but laugh because this is a perfect example. White Christmas. When I saw the scent description for this, I'm like, oh, that sounds like it's just going to be nasty. Um, and it smells fantastic. So I was kind of laughing because Brandy's known for putting crazy things together and them just smelling really good. So with that being said, um, I'm going to start getting into the order. I also want to thank Maite. Um, she gave me a $25 gift card, which I used towards this order. So I only ended up paying like $18 or $19. So thank you so much, Maite. Love you, girl. All right, this is White Christmas. And I, for the life of me, can't remember what's in here. I smell, I think, cranberry, serendipity. What is that? Maybe lavender or orange? I don't know. It's it's complex, and it sounded like something I would absolutely hate, and I love it. It smells so good. And from my experience, everything that Brandy makes smells 10 times better on warm than it does on cold. So thank you so much, Brandy, for the sample and the candy and the eraser. I absolutely love it. Also, thank you for the scent list. Um, I know a lot of these would be a lot harder to describe without the, the list. So let's get started. Oh, you guys, I seriously am not even going to talk about how much I love each one because I love each one equally. No joke. This one I've had before. It's White Walkers. This is Spearmint, Peppermint, Fresh Mint Leaf, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh, yeah. What it smells like, I can get the... I can get the, um fresh mint leaf and the peppermint and the spearmint. I don't pick up on the vanilla bean noel. But what it smells like to me is like mint on steroids. It's just so fresh and so fantastic. Carrie, and this one I am in love with you guys. I don't need the scent description. It's strawberry glaze and eucalyptus. And I cannot, I cannot describe her eucalyptus. It's fresh, it's amazing, it's nothing like any other eucalyptus I've ever smelled in my life, and I love it. And then you get that sweet strawberry. Oh, this is heaven. This is not in her restock, I don't think, which upsets me because I love it. But that's okay. It will come back soon. Cousin It, another story. I was talking to Brandy um, as her Fright Night was going up. And look at that spider. And she's like, am I missing anything? Do you think anything else needs to be added? And I said, well, what about a biolage type scent or something like that? And she came up with this blend in three seconds. And I'm not going to lie. When she said biolage, watermelon, I thought, okay, that sounds really good. Then she added the sweet pineapple. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to hate that. But, and this is what it looks like. I love it. First off, the biolage type is a dead on dupe and it's so strong. The watermelon is a second note and the pineapple is barely there. I do not like pineapple, but this doesn't really smell like, it smells like a, not a candy pineapple, like a, maybe like a, a pineapple syrup. It's very in the back and I, this actually turned out to be one of my favorites. So I love that. Amityville. 
It's one of my favorite movies, um, along with Carrie. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. All right, this one looks like that, and this is Mac Apple Lavender and Strawberry Passion. And it's gray and purple, which are just perfect Halloween colors. This is good. You get the lavender. Definitely the Mac Apple and the strawberry. This is phenomenal. I really like this one a lot more than I thought I would. It doesn't smell like the traditional Mac Apple lavender, which is kind of nice. I mean, I love that scent, but this is like a nice twist on it. Body Snatchers. This is like a favorite. I love this one. This is banana, frosted banana cookies, sugar cookies, and caramel drizzle. And it says speak. This is two toned as well. I can get her sugar cookie and I like it. I get the frosted banana cupcakes and a hint of caramel. It's really, really good, you guys. Body Snatchers. Okay, the next one I have is Omen. And it says Spooky and it's two toned, really pretty colors. Spooky. And this one is, what is this? Ocean Breeze, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Red Delicious Apple. I don't really smell the Vanilla Bean Noel, but what I smell is like a watery apple. Like, I know that doesn't sound appealing, but it is actually really good. It smells, you get the apple, you get that ocean scent, and it's just, it goes so well together. The Mist, this is one of my favorite scents. This is... Ocean Water, Storms Rain, and Rosemary Mint. Now, I feel like I almost get a sea salt, like a cactus and sea salt scent with the ocean, or Storms Rain, or whatever. Kind of like an orchid scent, like an orchid China Rain type scent. With the Rosemary Mint, it is, this, I think, is the ultimate spa scent. I love it. Absolutely love that one. Sixth Scent. This one is fresh brewed coffee, sea salt, caramels, and almond butter cookies. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the almond butter cookies on cold, but like I've said before, brandy stuff is better on warm. I can smell the caramel and the coffee and a lot of that almond butter cookie. That's what the main note is. So I'm going to wait until this one's warm to see how I love it. And then last but not least is Jaws. She talked about this and hyped it up a lot so I was excited to, to smell this and it says boo. And this one is um, sea salt, fresh air, seagrass, spiced plum, and sweet pear. It is good and it's very complex. I can pick up the sea salt a little bit. I feel like I get the pear and the plum, and like a watery scent. It's very, very good. I'm excited to smell this one on warm. I think I'll like it more on warm than I do on cold. I love it on cold, but I think I'm going to like it a lot more on warm. So that is it. That is my Super Tarts order. And again, you guys, if you want to purchase from this restock, she is staying open until November 1st, and she is shipping out before Thanksgiving. So she was, I think, a week over tat with this one, fine by me. I got it by Halloween, even if it's the day before. For me personally, I don't, I don't need scents by, you know, Christmas scents, I melt in the winter. Fall scents, I melt in the fall. So I kind of, and some of these don't even fall in any of those categories. These are like year round melts for me. So I don't think that's bad at all. Um, she did stop doing the samplers. The snap machine sampler is the last sampler she's doing. So that's going to free up a lot of her time as well. So if you guys don't mind waiting, it's only like a month, a month and two weeks at the most for some fantastic product order from her. You won't be sorry. Even try something you think you might not like, and I'm sure you'll love it. <coughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.